Nadine Goldman was born in 1923 in Springs, South Africa, which was a small gold mining town to European immigrant parents. Her father, having dealt with the religious discrimination as a Jew in Russia, accepted the similar system of racial discrimination found in South Africa. Her mother was against this discrimination, however, and put her influence on Nadine at an early age with actions such as pollinating and daycare of black workers. In 1933, at the age of 10, Nadine was pulled from school by her mother due to her health problem. This deprived Nadine of a normal education and social life. She had only but adults for company and began to pick up on the high level of thinking as well as political opinions from the adults' talk. Being isolated from her peers, Nadine spent her time reading and soon began to write stories of her own. This was her first step into writing. Nadine's first story was published in the children's section of a local newspaper. During the age of 15, Nadine's story was published in an adult reader's journal. In 1944, Nadine Gordon attends Wistenberg University. It was here that Nadine Gardner was truly exposed to the social and political atmosphere of South Africa. Again, examples of such experience having an impact on her work is my son's story where she takes a look at a revolutionist fighting to end apartheid. Nadine's work exposed the truth behind apartheid and all its negative Nesta went along with it, feeling that her work exposed too much and put the South African government in a shameful life. The government banned one of her novels, The World of Strangers, which showed the social injustice of South Africa. In 1948, at the age of 21, Nadine Goldman moved to Johnsonburg, which was the setting place of one of her novels, My Son's Story. Here she formed a deep friendship with the labor activist Betty Dutoch, a revolutionist who had a powerful influence on her political task. Her experience in Johnsonburg increased her opposition of the white supremacist governments of South Africa. During the same year of 1948, South Africa's government officially launched the system of apartheid, which restricted the freedom of black Africans. The apartheid and its effect on people of South Africa is one of Goldmeyer's main themes throughout her novel, an example of the apartheid having a toll in her work is in her novel, My Son's Story, where she takes a look at the life of a black revolutionist during the past time of apartheid. In 1959, the creation of Homeland is established, which was just basically an extension of the racial segregation. This law alienated the blacks of South Africa, making the citizens of the homelands but not of South Africa. The blacks had to carry identification cards in their own country and was prohibited to live among whites. Nadine used the law in her novel My Son's Story where she mentions the main character moving his family out of the ghettos which was the homeland into a white neighborhood. In 1960, in Shribeville, South Africa, a protest against having to carry identification cards in their own country spread. This was one of the first forms of revolution against apartheid. Six nine black Africans were killed unfortunately. Nadine used this event as a guide to her novel, My Son's Story, while the main character, Sonny, goes to Shribeville and as a public speaker on such work. Nadine Gordimer, having been born pre-apartheid, was able to see the changes the apartheid system brought to the people of South Africa, and as well as when it progressed and when it was reappealed in 1991. Having been interested in writing an 
at an early age, as well as having influences with such events of the apartheid and influenced by such people as Betty and the black friends she made in Wilton Stand University. Nadine uses all these resources to write all her novels, including My Son's Story and Get a Life. The novel My Son's Story takes a look at a black revolutionist who slowly began to lose his respect among his peers due to his affair with a young white woman named Hannah. While the novel deals with the personal life and problems of the characters, it also features the problems of the apartheid. The novel Get a Life features the life of a white scientist named Paul. He becomes a danger to his family due to radioactive treatments for throat cancer. While this novel deals with the life of Paul, Nadine does not fail to include the racial social structure of South Africa. This novel is set post-apartheid and it shows the changes the end of the apartheid back to South Africa. She mentions the adoption of mixed neighborhood in this novel.